All right. Uh, this question comes in off of Facebook from Paul Maris. James, is Camara a trade target in Dynasty for next season? Interesting. So I think he... He's in my head right now. Is not in a good way I by have your thought, face. Yeah, I've thought about Camara a lot in that context. I don't want to cut you off. Just say what you were going to say, and then I'll share my thoughts. So, I think I, I'm. This is a curiosity in my head. But you have two different running backs who had a high ankle sprain, and when they came back, have really struggled to look like the same player this year. And Saquon talked about admitting that he feels a little less confident on these cuts right now. And so it's one of those things where I go, maybe this was that injury and coming back and it, they, they don't feel the same. And next year, Kamara and Saquon are going to be the Kamara and Saquon we see. That's that's the curiosity in my head. But talk about what you just wanted to talk about. Well, I, I've been thinking about whether, you know, because Kamara is not the same player right now. No, he's not. That, that's definitive. Doesn't look the same on the field at all. There's also some, there's been some major regression in the touchdown category and it's Maybe part of it's just his, you know, his production and ability, but part of it's just luck too. I mean, last last year his season was was uh, historic in part because he was scoring so many rushing touchdowns. But it says something to me. Like, do you remember at the beginning of the year when I brought up that little unconfirmed Sean Payton story? About Alvin Kamara, I don't remember where. Oh, well, he said where he they was talked soft. about Latavius Murray, and it was quote, you know, it was a. Non-confirmed quote that he said, Kamara's saw. And here comes Latavius Murray, instantly signed him, brought him in to be Ingram. This team is never going to look at Alvin Kamara now that you have another year of injury concern and he's had concussion problems. They're never going to look at Kamara and be like, this is your backfield alone. Because they win without that philosophy. They've won with Ingram Kamara. They've won with Murray Kamara. So to me, there's not a situation where Kamara is on the same plane as Christian McCaffrey right. or Saquon Barkley or somebody who has the backfield to themselves, which means that the touchdown predictability goes down. If you're sharing some backfield work with somebody who's likely bigger than you, there's a fear. Yeah, but, I mean, he was two years ago, he was sharing the backfield with Mark Ingram, who is better than Latavius Murray. And two years ago, he got 34 carries inside the 10. So far this year, and he missed a couple games, only 11 carries inside the 10 for Kamara. Last year, those 34 carries turned into 11 touchdowns inside well, I, the 10. All I'm saying is not that he's not good, just that I don't put him in the same echelon. So when you look at key, in a dynasty target category, if you target him, don't target him like Christian McCaffrey. Don't target him as though you're buying low on Saquon Barkley. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, you're saying you're buying low on a second-tier running back. So if you can't, Would you get, rather have Dalvin Cook or Alvin Kamara oh, Dalvin in a Cook, dynasty league? Without a doubt. Okay. So what tier does that put Kamara in for Dynasty Leagues? Probably tier three. So that I mean that's a downgrade. Yeah. Oh, it's a huge downgrade for I mean he, he came into this year as a tier one running back. And the thing is about running backs is their shelf life is so short in Dynasty Leagues that no matter whether they're great Christian McCaffrey will be less valuable <laughs> one year from now than you think he is. Here's a crazy question. It came in off of Instagram, piggybacks off of that one. This is from Jalen Off. Alvin Kamara is on the road against Tennessee, okay? Okay. Tennessee is a one-point home underdog. It's a 51-point over-under. Nice. Arizona is on the road at Seattle. They're nine-and-a-half-point underdogs. It's a 48-point over-under. Alvin Kamara or Kenyon Drake after his four-touchdown game? That is... A very good question, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all. So Alvin Kamara ha finished last week as the running back 23 against San Francisco. The, uh, he was – Every yeah, use of that in this game has been negative. Yeah, that's very bad. Uh, 29th against Atlanta. Obviously, Drake was the number one on the week with yeah. four touchdowns. That's – you know, he's done that a couple times this year where he's put up huge touchdown numbers. The two weeks prior, he was the 31st and 42nd running back. So he has not been great. He just had a great game. I'm going to still go with Kamara, who is – look, I love Drake. I mean, we that, that's that been established over years. But I'm going to go with the higher over-under, the higher implied team total, and the better running back over the last several years. 
Okay. I'm going Kamara. Where, where do you? I think it's a tough decision. But I, you got to start one. I know. It's a tough decision. Both teams on the road. I think I'm with you. I think I have to side with Kamara in the better offense. The Cardinals offense is it, part of what happened in the preceding two weeks. Is not. It was just a bad offense. Yes. Kyler Murray has one of the lowest passer ratings in the NFL over the last five weeks. Thankfully, David Blau is there at the basement to soften the landing. Yeah, you'll never get to the bottom, Kyler. Um, but, but yeah, I think you have to side with the better offense in that situation for predictability's sake. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If those were the best few minutes of your life, you should probably click the subscribe button and check out a full-length episode.